Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Kurt, and uh, I'm a little bit excited and a little bit uh, ticked off tonight. I went to the gun store today. There, I think you can see me. Um, went to the gun store. I'd recently, actually today, sold my AR-10. You guys remember I did a review about that. It's about, I don't know, 20 videos back, and, and um, it was just, um, it was killing my shoulders. And I said, you know, enough of this. And I went back, I down, downsized back to the uh, AR-15. And um, I've got another one almost identical to this that I bought my wife for Christmas. Yeah, uh, I'm a cool husband. And, um, <laughs> but, uh, so I got, I went, I went to the gun store. There's a gun store in uh, Forest, Virginia called Pro Choice Sporting Goods. They sell 511 Tactical. They sell a bunch of stuff. Craziest, best prices I've ever seen. This uh, DPMS, before I put some of these accessories on it, 675 and uh, I've got almost this identical rifle with the exception of the gas block here um, and so I thought it would be good to have uh, 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 the same brand interchangeable parts and all that so um, there you go so uh, so um, some other stuff I got I got a red dot scope NC star red dot scope I've got a uh, uh, green laser and um, this has got a, a built-in laser too but uh, quad rail added the quad rail and um, that's about it. About the only thing I might do is switch to a Magpul um, collapsible stock instead of the, uh, the standard one. Although, as far as standard stock, uh, stocks go, this one's not actually that bad. It's just pretty well made. Um, I've seen some real trash put on really nice rifles. The uh, AR-10 that I had originally had a pretty, really terrible, terrible stock on it. Um, but this is pretty nice. And, um, well, it just looks awesome. Uh, but let me tell you what happened. I, I go in, I was gonna buy it, walk out right then. This is considered an assault rifle because it's scary and it's black. And with an assault rifle in Virginia, and, and it's not this way in every state, you have to show three forms of identification. One of those has to be proof of citizenship. So it has to have a passport or birth certificate. So the President of the United States, he doesn't have to show his birth certificate or, or, or let me correct that. He shows us one, and it's a total forgery, and everybody knows it, and, and he's laughing about it, uh, and he gets the job. Four hundred thousand dollars a year. Terrible president wrecking the country. He gets to do that without any proof whatsoever that he's qualified for the job constitutionally, let alone mentally. And but I got to go in when I buy a gun. I've got a concealed weapons permit. I I had to pass an FBI background check to get that. I got a driver's license. I had to show birth certificate, proof of citizenship to get that. So why did then, what old codger up in Richmond, that's our capital here in Virginia, what old codger decided that I need to now show three forms of identification to buy this scary black rifle because, you know, it's an assault weapon. And then on top of that, you've got two, not just one set of forms, two. You got the state and the federal forms to fill out. And they're identical. They're exactly the same stupid form, but I got to fill them out twice and I got to answer stupid questions like this one. Are you a felon? Uh, well, yeah, I am. Uh, you know, can I still buy the gun? I mean, what idiot criminal says that? Yeah, I'm a, I'm a felon. Are you, uh, have you been convicted of a misdemeanor, um, of, uh, you know, for, uh, assault? Or, uh, what's it called? Uh, domestic violence. Oh, yeah, I have. Oh, darn, I can't buy the gun now. How about the, uh, are you mentally ill? Are you an illegal alien? Now, that one, I think, annoys me more than any of the others. It's, I've got to show three forms of identification. One of those proving that I'm a citizen and I still have to answer the stupid question, am I an illegal alien? What is wrong with our country that I have to fill out something so stupid to exercise a right? The second amendment is not a privilege, it is a right. And the only way you can have that taken away from you is if you become a felon and you start killing people with that right because then you're abusing it. You don't deserve it. It is unalienable. Cannot be taken from you. And yet I've got to do all this idiotic stuff to do it. 
I gotta waste, you know, it's not the gun store guy, he was really cool. I mean, he pretty much agreed with everything I was saying. And of course I wasn't this uh, belligerent uh, with him. But he's not at fault here. These morons in DC are at fault. They're the ones that come up with such stupid questions. Are you an illegal alien? It's, it's as if, now I'm, I'm a leader in the Tea Party. We have a, a leadership structure and I understand some of the goofy things that can come up as far as ideas go. That's, that's fine, let's, let's all have debate and have an idea. But how does this stuff get implemented? Honestly, tell me that, explain that to me. How does such stupid garbage get implemented? Because they're morons. There's a meeting, uh, I have a poster on my wall. I'm gonna show it to you. I'm gonna go get my poster that I have on my wall. I used to have something bigger than a home office. And so this was hanging on my wall in my office office where customers would come. I don't know if you can see the whole thing. But it says, meetings. None of us is as dumb as all of us. That's Washington. The smartest people in the room get together. The smartest people, they've got PhDs, multiple MBAs, and they're the dumbest people when they get together. You put two of the geniuses together, it's as if they canceled out their brains and they come up with, are you an illegal alien? On top of having to show three forms of ID and prove you're a citizen. Are you kidding me? All right, got that off my chest. I will be happy to do a review on all the things that are on this rifle and I will let you know what I think of them. And yes, uh, it's kind of overkill to have red dot scope with a laser and have a laser, but you know what? Shut up. I've always wanted these and I didn't care. I'm like, I'm buying these things because that's what I want. And that's, that's America, baby. You can do what you want. Whether or not it it's, uh, makes financial sense, uh, you know, hey, just look what's going on in Washington. Thanks.